Hatchlings, it's Dragon Feather, and welcome back to the channel. And on today's episode, we have a really exciting unboxing from Silver Moonlight Coven, and this is their high quality Wiccan mystery box. So, this is one of the most extravagant, high quality things that you can get from them, and the products are made by the people in Silver Moonlight Coven, or they're from companies they trust. So, guess what? Silver Moonlight Coven is also hosting a giveaway currently and it's pretty exciting. It's lasting from the 3rd of February to the 8th of February and if you spend $15 in their store your name will get entered into a drawing where you can win a free $45 love spell kit and other free things. It's super super exciting um, but it's also for every $15 you spend so if you want to go take a gander and maybe get a few things then and it'll be a fancy time if you win and want to be. Without further ado, let us open the package. We're gonna make a mess, I guess. Alright, so I'm seeing a few things here. First, we have some lemon grass. Pretty cute. Pretty fancy schmancy. Have some lavender. This is interesting. We have the Mystic Closet Prophetic Dreams Dusting Powder. Magical uses is body power, body powder. Uh, dust yourself lightly before bed or lightly sprinkle on sheets, climb into bed, and you should have prophetic dreams for external use only and keep away from children and pets. So that's pretty cool. I have never heard of that before and I would, I am just all about lucid dreaming, so I will see if this can give me any interesting lucid dreams. Ooh. Next we have safflower threads. I've never seen anything like this before. It's like really, really orange and red. Almost looks like fire. We have this little box here. It's super cute and it says Silver Moon Coven and it has a seven pointed star on it. Which is just one of my favorite stars. <laughs> this little box though, look at it, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, you guys, these are so cute, you have to check them out. Okay, so look at this, they're like little runes, and they have hearts on them, and different runes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So we have this one, and on the back, looks like a money sign almost, this one. These are really, really cool. It looks like they were made with a wood-burning tool, which is honestly, I need one in my life. <laughs> this one says pro. I like it. These are super cute. They're like perfect for like a mojo bags or something. And then we also have money. I wonder if this is uh, incense or herbal blends. This one is protection. I love it. Can never have enough protection. And actually, I'm filming this uh, during the night of the lunar eclipse. It's in a few hours, so I might be using some of these in my spell work. So thank you so much for sending them to me. This one's for love. Gotta get that love. Ooh, and last one we have is for psychic. It's perfect. Actually, there's a chain in here, so it looks like it's for wearing as a necklace. So probably wear one around your necklace for whatever you are seeking for the day. Perhaps remove the labels, because that's it's probably just so you know what's up.
Next we have Siberian Gin Steak Powder. I've never heard of that either, but I will definitely have to do some research on the things I do not recognize. Super beautiful card. This is absolutely gorgeous. And then we put the craft in witchcraft. This is such a beautiful card and it totally matches <laughs> my lapis lazuli. They're like crystal. We'll definitely have all their information linked down below if you want to check out any of the things that they have to offer. Oh no, they sent me feathers. <laughs> It says inspired by dragon feather. I don't know if you can see that, but that's so cute. Oh my goodness. It has like dragon scales on it and it's all these feathers and it's like a duster. So you're supposed to go like, this is, this is beautiful. Do you see this right now guys? Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's called the dragon scale incense fan. This is a bad ass, okay? You cannot convince me otherwise. This is fucking lit, okay? These look pretty high quality too, so, and they smell so fantastic. I'm like reaching over my counter, I'm so fucking short. But anyway, this is really cute. And I love that they have their little black cat on all their stickers. It reminds me of Keisha. This be a dream catcher. This looks like, hmm. I'm gonna open it and smell it. Whoa. This is like really beautiful. I definitely want to use this for like anointing my chakras or to add a little drop of it into a potion. This would be beautiful and perfect just for that. African? What the hell? Seven African <laughs> powers incense. And this is another incense that they gave us. Pretty amazing. Dragon's Flame. Oh my god, I'm using this in my ritual tonight. Thank you so much. I really needed Dragon's Blood. This is pretty much better than that, so Dragon's Flame. This is perfect. Thank you. And then we have White Patchouli Incense. This one smells really good too. Mm. cigarette butt in it. That's cute. We have some eucalyptus leaves. This is perfect. Um, one of my nicknames growing up was Koala La because I was always called Koala Baby and then I started being musical so then I became Koala La and I love eucalyptus. Ooh, 
This is beautiful. This looks like a pack of stones. So let's check it out. Let's test my, oh, I don't even have to test my knowledge. It's all labeled for me. That's amazing. You're fucking amazing. Like you guys gotta see this. Look, look at how cute that is. No one does this. It says bloodstone. No one does this. This one is so cool. It's obsidian. Don't know if you can see or read the little writing, but it says obsidian. Oh, there we go. And it says belief. The back of this is like really good for scrying. I actually might try that. And then we have peacock ore, and this one's perfect. I've been looking for peacock ore that doesn't really have much purple in it, because blue and green are my favorites. And this is it. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, so there was a sticker on this one, but it fell off in the packaging. And this one is limestone. I would have never guessed. So thank you for including the tags because that is one I do not recognize. That's really pretty. And then we have red agate. And this is a really nice hunk of red agate. It really just kind of looks like solid lava. It's so beautiful. Like, look at that. Holy shit. That looks like a dragon scale. You could not tell me that this is not a dragon scale. really good herb actually. I used to take it every day in the form of powder. I love echinacea and I have a lot of good a lot of good memories with it so we'll love to craft with that. I'm gonna just have to I swear to god if I have to vacuum I'm gonna cry. No, I can't do this. Uh. Uh. You can't see me but I'm over here. No, I still made a mess. I tried. I mean, I guess shredded newspaper is good for packing, but it's not not fun for cleaning. Not fun for cleaning. I'm gonna have to sweep shit up. You know, I was looking at candles that had crystals in them today on Instagram and I was literally like, wouldn't it be amazing if I had a candle that had like fucking stones in it? You answered my prayers because this is amazing. It has amethyst in it. And what does it say on the bottom? It says protection candle, black salt, amethyst, onyx. This is on point for what I'm performing for tonight's ritual. So this will definitely be included instead of the little 99 cent one I could afford. Oh my god, you guys! I'm blown away. Almond cone incense. I love cone incense. 
I like how it burns upwards and it doesn't really make that much of a mess. It's one of the better types of incense. Black salt shaker? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is what it looks like. And then up here, it has the little star salt shaker lid that you can do. And I pulled it off instead of screwed it off. So it's definitely a screw on and off. So, thank you. This is a really unique idea. Have you ever thought about having a witchy black salt shaker? That is fucking badass. this little one right away on my draconic altar I'll show you where I decide to put her <laughs> she matches two other dragons I already have so this is literally perfect thank you soap lettuce scent. Interesting. But this is like handmade soap. The triquetra on it. I am just really excited to scrub my body with sacred geometry. I don't know about you, but scrubbing my body with some sacred geometry and the power of three times three triquetra is pretty dope. <laughs> like they knew I like dragon things you know I mean I mean it's really it's so hard to tell that I dragon feather like dragons it's like such a secret you know like I can't even believe you guessed it you guessed my love for dragon's blood incense and my need for it at that so thank you oh this box look at this it's so dainty and lovely and I can tell someone made it I feel it so perfect and it's like these are the witchiest things of them all you know oh, oh my goodness look how cute it's all like a little freaking care package oh my goodness 
You guys are so kind. I can't even believe this is happening right now. I bet you this is a fucking mushroom, okay? I bet you it's supposed to be a mushroom. And we have the most darling little book. <laughs> you know what I'm tempted to do? I'm tempted to make a book after this book and make this the charm of the book. That would be the cutest little thing. Oh my God, this is lit. I have a freaking pinnacle. You know, I have a pinnacle pin. I do not have a seven pointed star pin. This is just like fairies. Fairies are here. We have this lovely green candle, which I'm sure is homemade by them. And we have some Himalayan pink sea salt. A cute little container. Absolutely darling. And we have Patchouli tobacco ashes. Interesting. I've never heard of that. But I expect it'll go well in some things I am making for tonight. So, divine timing. And so grateful. This little box is just like the cutest little nest. I want to put eggs in it. <laughs> crystals and herbs and like sticks and things in here. I like that. This is a great libation bowl. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm a sound nut. And so the fact that this makes a noise just like gives me hope for life, you know? I might not even use this as an earth bowl. To be honest with you, I might just use this as a bell to clean my room. Of oh, bad juju. So good. All right, I need to not wake anyone up though. <laughs> These are the coolest fucking thing I have ever received in the mail. They rattle. They're like, dude. Y'all could go into trance with rattling these nuts. It's funny because one of the leaders of the hatchling clan totally has a spirit animal of a squirrel and I can see her doing like Okay, I'll stop <laughs> Thank you. 
haul. <laughs> um, I am blown away by how authentic these items were. Um, normally when you get some sort of mystery box, there's just a bunch of like jewelry in it or things that are purchased. Um, and this, they really do put the craft in witchcraft. This is full on making it yourself. This is like the DIY real stuff. And that's what makes it magical. And that's what we try to really emphasize on the channel. And just whenever I explain witchcraft to anyone, it's always about making it yourself and doing it yourself. And I feel like that's usually um, where the best crafts come from and where the most magic is at, is when you create something with the intention of manifesting something beautiful and marvelous and this is definitely all these items are so beautiful and marvelous and i am so grateful that you guys of silver moon cup silver moonlight coven reached out to me to uh, want to do this and it's really badass and some of these items are amazing and will totally help me not only in my ritual tonight but will stay on my altar and definitely be used throughout my spell making journeys here in the year to come and i have incense for days guys like for days. I have all of this. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different bags of straight ones and six different in one bag of the color ones. So that is just it's messy. This is messy. I didn't expect this. Um it's I guess it's a great packing method. It'll definitely save your things from being messed up, but I definitely have to vacuum. I was hoping I could avoid it, but it's just everywhere. Okay guys, it's it's like, I want, I'm the bunny now. I am the rabbit. This is my, this is, this is my stuff, okay? This is my stuff. So I think I got the most shredded paper of my life in the mail today. I can definitely mark off that achievement, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And don't forget to enter in the giveaway if you wish to. It'll be super duper fancy if you win. Um, and they actually have a lot of really incredible DIY things that they have done themselves. And I really appreciate that because it makes it authentic, it makes it original, and it makes it unique to whatever you get, no matter what you get. And I think that's really magical. I think that in itself is inherently magical. So I would definitely recommend checking out their store and their shop and their giveaway and all their links are down below for anything else you wish to check out of theirs for your convenience. It'll be right at the top so you don't have to search for it. But yeah, that's all that I have for you guys in today's episode of Magical Mail. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Silver Moonlight Coven. Hi quality mystery wiccan box wiccan mystery box almost had it thank you guys so much for watching and for choosing to click on this video today and it just means the world to me that you want to spend some of your time with me and hang out watch my videos and watch me watch me play and the paper snow oh i'm making more of a mess okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go clean um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day, but until next time, stay geeky cheeky and freaky little hatchlings, blessed be, and bye.